Hi, welcome back. So right now, if we log in, the um, the navbar doesn't change. The buttons still remain the same. So let's actually change it so that when we are authenticated, we have uh, buttons here to add a post and to see notifications and stuff. All right, let's go to our project, and here in navbar. Uh, the navbar now needs to know whether we're authenticated or not. So it needs to connect to the state. So let's bring in, so here let's import, import connect from React Redux. And let's connect our navbar. So here export default connect. And uh, let's say map state to props. And it doesn't take a Mac, uh, it doesn't use any actions. So we just emit that argument. And here let's say const map state to props takes the state and returns the following. So we need authenticated so we can extract only that. So authenticated, it's going to be from state dot user dot authenticated. All right, um, let's, let's bring in prop types as well. We might as well. So prop types from prop dash types. And here let's say navbar dot prop types. We have authenticated, uh, not state, um, prop types dot bull because it's a boolean and it's required. All right, so here, now that we have uh, the authenticated, let's extract it. So inside the render, let's say const authenticated equals this dot props. And inside the toolbar here, let's cut this. Let's say, let's do an expression and say authenticated. So ternary operator, if it's, if we're authenticated, we show something and here colon. So else we show this. And because there's three elements here, we need to wrap them in a fragment. So fragment, and we need to actually import that. So inside of here, let's paste our buttons and let's import fragment. So here add fragment. And here, if we are, uh, if we're actually authenticated, let's do another fragment here, fragment tab. And here we want to show three buttons. Uh, one that's actually a plus. So here I'll do, of course, with the tooltip, uh, we're going to use the same pattern from uh, this button here. So tooltip, icon button, and uh, but actually there's like a bunch of uh, elements here. Let's create um, a component for this button that so that we don't actually have to import all these things into uh, our components whenever we want to use this button. So let's create a custom component. In util, let's create my uh, my button dot js. You can call it whatever I chose to call it my button. This is a functional component. So RFC tab. And here we can just say export default like this. And we're going to destructure from the props. It's going to have children. So the way this thing works is that, um, let's go back here. So the way it works is that it's going to take a, a tip. So for the title of the tip, and it's going to take the on click. And in case we need to style the tooltip or the icon button, we're going to take two class names for both of them. And of course we don't have to have them, but if we do, it's going to style them. So here we're going to take children and children is going to be whatever that's inside. And usually it's the icon. So we're going to have my button and then we're going to give the props. And inside of that, we give any icon and that icon will be will be the children will be rendered inside the button. So we're going to take an on click. We're going to take a BTN class name, which is going to be for the icon button. We're going to take a tip class name, which is the class name for the tip for the tooltip. And we're going to take a tip as well, which is the title for the tooltip. And here, instead of doing return like this, we can actually just do parentheses because we don't need to process any logic here. And here we'll say tooltip. Let's actually import the tooltip and the icon button. So here import tooltip from, uh, not at, yeah, at like this material UI slash core slash tooltip. 
and we need the icon button material UI slash core slash icon button all right so here we say tooltip with the title that's tip class name of tip class name and of course this is uh, if we don't give a class name it, it's not a problem it's just not gonna have a class so we can have it like this and inside we'll have icon button <coughs> we'll have an on click of on click and a class name of btn class name button class name and actually let's do this because we're gonna have stuff inside of it and here will be just children which is gonna be the icon all right let's save this and uh, let's go to navbar here let's uh, import it so here, let's do or here at the bottom here let's say import my button from we go back one level to util slash my button and here instead of tooltip we do so this will be the plus button my button and it's gonna need the it's not gonna have an on click right now it's not gonna do anything so we just uh, give it the title of the tip or just tip which will say um, create a scream or post a scream and inside it's gonna have the add add button or add icon let's say here icons actually I'm gonna bring all the icons we need right now so we need the add icon from material UI slash icons slash add and by the way this is the like I said before this is a default uh, export you can just have add but the fact that I add icon to it makes it more readable in my code I'm like okay so this is an icon all right let's copy all of this let's paste it twice and here we're gonna have home icon here this is gonna be home and here I'm gonna have notifications from notifications all right here we're gonna have the icon the add icon so add icon let's give it a color of primary let's close this so that's the first button the second one is going to be uh, the home button so my button and the tip will be home and uh, will we have a class no i don't think so so here we'll have the icon so home icon color primary uh, actually this is going to be a link to home so let's wrap it in a link let's cut that and do link we already imported link let's do two slash and close this and inside paste our button and the third one is going to be the notification so let's say my button um, with a tip notifications um, let's close this and inside we're going to have the notifications icon with the color of primary all right so if with if we're authenticated we should see these buttons all right let's save i'm already running my um project let's refresh oh actually the tip is not showing and the color shouldn't be primary of course uh, i don't know what i was thinking there because it's going to be the same as the bar uh, but the way these buttons work they are actually svgs so we can actually target them from our CSS. So let's go to our app CSS. And inside of here, I'm gonna say, uh, and, oh, actually this is not SAS, this is CSS. So I can, I need to say .nav container. And here I'm gonna say SVG. So any SVG inside of the container, and uh, the nav container, so any SVG inside of our nav bar, let's give it a color of, um, hashtag FFF which is white let's save and let's go back cool they're white now but let's fix this uh, notification uh, this the text not working it must be from the uh, button here so tooltip or oh, title not title 
I misspelled title. So let's save. All right, so we get our tooltips, and if we click on a user and we click on home, it actually redirects to home. Of course, these don't do anything yet, but we will fix that. Let's actually change as well the buttons in, um, so in profile here, instead of this, we're gonna have my button. So let's do my button, and it's gonna have a tip of edit profile picture. And we're gonna have an on click of this dot handle edit picture. And because this button has a class name, we're gonna give btn class name equals button. And yeah, this is it. And inside the my button, we'll have the edit icon. Um, actually, I forgot something inside the nav bar. We need to remove these color primaries because they they don't serve any purpose right now. Uh, so back to the profile. Here we actually need the color primary. So primary, we close the icon. Don't know why there's this squiggly. Okay, it's fixed. So we can remove this. And let's copy all of this. Let's come here under this tool tip. Let's do so the tip will be logout. The on click will be handle logout, and we don't need a BTN class name here. So let's remove this. And it, this will be keyboard i keyboard keyboard return instead of edit icon. We can remove all of this now. And we need to remove the imports because we don't need them because they're already in the button. And we need to bring in the button. So here let's say import my button. Oops, button from uh, util slash my button. Oops. Uh, that's fine. Let's go to edit details. So let's remove tooltip and icon button. And here let's bring in my button. So my button, again, I did this U capitalized. <laughs> so we go back one level slash util slash my button. And I think I still have it copied. So, oh, no, I don't. So I could just say my button and the tip will be edit details and the on click will be this dot handle open and we need a btn class name will be classes dot button and we close this tag inside we have the edit icon with the color primary so we close this let's remove this let's copy this so actually no this is the only button we have here so let's just save all files and let's check if nothing is broken cool this still works and we get the message but the placement is actually at the bottom so here Oh, I forgot to add the placement. So in the tooltip, place placement equals top. If you guys want it on the bottom, you can leave it um, as the default. I like the top one. And even here, if, if there's no space, it's gonna be on the bottom, even though that it actually says placement top, and then the other ones it's gonna be on the top. All right, cool. So yeah, in the next video, we're gonna work on the scream actions, like the data actions and start to um, actually use Redux for that instead of, because right now in the home we're actually using Axios still. So yeah, look forward to that. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.